Hello and thank you for joining me Year 8. This lesson we're going to continue on from our communication practice from last week where you designed a clock for a, a young person based on specific information, so based on the things that they like and disliked. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on how to develop your design ideas. What I'd like you to do first though, I'd like you to think what does the term develop mean? Pause the video here and have a quick think. So the term develop means to change or improve something. Change or improve something. And there's loads of ways that we can change or improve our design ideas. We could maybe change the aesthetics So the appearance, what it looks like, that could include perhaps the colour, the shape, or even the theme. We could also change the size. We can make things bigger. We can make things smaller. One of the most impactful ways to change or develop a design idea is also to um, remove or subtract a feature so to take something away so for example uh, perhaps uh, for your clock design that you did previously perhaps you added numbers to the original design ideas for the new one you might decide to remove them completely and have just a plain background so it's removing a feature, and again, that could be um, something as simple as numbers, it could be a shape, it could be a picture you've added, etc. And the opposite to subtract is to add. We can add something, we could add a, a new feature. So we could add a new feature. Oops, I spelled feature wrong there, apologies. Uh, we could add a new feature such as a shape, an icon, a logo. Um, going back to the clocks, we could add numbers. Uh, maybe we could add some um, elements that start to uh, come out of the clock. So I'm changing it into a flower kind of design here. Just add another shape behind it, perhaps. Make it more three-dimensional. You could even look at adding a function. So again, let's focus on the clock, because that's what we're designing at the moment. Um, you could perhaps look at adding uh, some holes at the bottom, which you can then maybe hook some keys, or uh, you can loop your phone charger through, or a PC cable, so that you can easily find them. Uh, you could maybe have um, a nice motivational quote or, or something happy so the other function is to help to improve someone's mood etc so those are how we can develop a design idea we can develop or change the aesthetics the size and then we can look at adding and removing some features so these are just some ideas to help us um, we're going to focus today on the aesthetics primarily we're going to focus on how to develop the shape. So, let me get a new piece of paper, just like magic. So now I haven't seen all of your design ideas, but how many of you started your um, clock design for um, this young person with a circle or a square or maybe a triangle? So these are three rather simple shapes that we often go to when designing um, uh, designing any product. But for clocks, traditionally, we go for the circle. If we want to develop or improve the aesthetics of our clock design, we're going to focus on how to improve or change the shape. And we're going to use a theory that's going to help us to create or generate some really exciting and interesting shapes. And we're going to use something called scribble theory. And this is probably one of my 
favorite drawing techniques. So I'm just going to change my Sharpie for a pencil. Let me show you what I mean. Scribble theory is simply taking a pencil or some kind of writing instrument and drawing a scribble on your page. So far so good. What I'm now going to do is using a pen, this is my good old biro, I'm now going to look within this scribble to identify a more exciting shape that I could use for a design idea rather than going with the traditional 2D um, elements of a circle, square or triangle. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to go there, there, there. Not entirely sure what this is going to be, but I'm liking it. There we go. That is my new, exciting and innovative, innovative shape. I'm just going to highlight that for you. I have no clue what it is. We could then look at uh, the idea of maybe changing it into something. So for example, looking at this now, I'm seeing fish, so I can maybe give it an eye and look at adding some scales. Um, this could be the top fin, perhaps. This could be the other fin. So sometimes when completing this uh, scribble theory, you actually see um, items or uh, objects or even animals within the shapes that you find. But that's not the point, not really. The point is just to create something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. And it's a really great way to help develop our design ideas. So, for example, for this one, uh, I really like this really odd... Oh, I have to get back on myself, that's fine. Oh, I've gone a bit thin there. Never mind, I'm now going to jump and connect this. I'm going to go down a bit. Go here, 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 and here. So this line is now obsolete. I don't even need that line. It's just something a little bit different. I don't need to actually turn it into anything. It's just a way to try and create some really interesting and unique shapes. Now, earlier, I said the term innovative innovative have a little think what do you think the term innovative means now i have already said another word that links heavily to it innovative innovative and while you're thinking i'm just going to do one more quick scribble but i'm going to make it less scribbly i'm going to keep it a little bit there you go a bit more simple innovative innovative think about what we're doing we're going from creating or using simplistic shapes to more different and interesting and that is um, a way to be innovative so what do you think innovative might mean I'm gonna give you another few seconds while I uh, find an innovative shape within my scribble this one's trickier innovative innovative any ideas You've got three seconds left. Innovative, innovative, innovative. Just love saying the word innovative, innovative. There you go. I'm going to turn it into a clock. I have my number there. I think I have three, six. Can I fit the nine? Yep. Okie dokie. So, in case you're not too sure by now, the term innovative means to do something that is unique, something that is original something that maybe hasn't been done before. And using the scribble technique can help you to generate innovative design ideas because it is very rare when using this technique to create shapes that are often the same. So you could argue that you could see some similarities between these two because they've got sharper edges, but no three look the exact same. And that's a way to be innovative. So what I'd like you to do for this lesson, I would like you to take one or two of the designs that you sketched in our previous lesson, our communication um, skills practice, 
and I'd like you to develop it. I'd like you to change or improve the aesthetics, so the shapes, by using the scribble theory. Any work you can complete, I'd love to see, so please do upload anything you do into our team chat. If you've got any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to get in touch.